Hi everyone, Miss Crystal here, and today we are doing day one of Natasha Westcoat. Now I know some of you have done this, but since we can't get you your supplies to you or the projects you already started, we're just gonna do a redo. So today we're learning about Natasha Westcoat for this four weeks, and Natasha Westcoat is what I call a living artist. She is still alive today. Uh, years ago, I had some students say, hey, everyone we learn about is dead. And they, they're like, are there any artists that are alive today that we can learn about? So that's how I discovered Natasha Westcoat. She is an artist that was one of the first ones to use the internet and online to really promote her artwork. And that's how she's known. She also does um, graphic design and other things, but she's a painter as well. And she is really well known for her, let me find it. Sorry guys, taking me a little bit to find her picture, her jewel trees. Now, why do you think they're called jewel trees? You're right, because they have a lot of decoration on them. They're very decorative. She's really well known. She became known for painting her trees and she paints a lot of trees. So um, I want us to look at her background. Do you see the background? What colors make up that background? If you said orange and yellow and some red, you're right. The background in this picture is like the sky the very back of it, it goes into the ground as well. This one, the background is these colors, these orangey yellow colors. And up here you see some yellow and orange and some blues. So I love Natasha Westcoat because she does a lot of fun color mixing. Like in this picture, I love how she uses yellows and blues and greens to create color. So we're going to use Natasha Westcoat to learn about the color wheel. La. The color wheel, some of you already know this, but my question to you is what are the three primary colors? Three. And primary colors are the colors that when you use them make secondary colors. So our three primary are red, blue, and yellow. So when we mix two of them together, like yellow and red, we get orange. When we mix red and blue together, we get purple. When we mix yellow and blue together, we get green. Very exciting, right? So as we look at her picture, oh, sorry, my light fell down. Let me pick that back up. There we go. When we look at her pictures, we can see the colors that are mixed are primary or secondary. So in this one, she's using yellows and blues and it's creating these nice greens. You can see some of the blue right here and creating this beautiful background color. Okay, so we're going to create our own backgrounds for the next three weeks. So we'll end up needing a total of three pages. You can obviously make more if you want to, but we're just gonna start with three. So you can, for this, you'll need three pieces of paper. Now, if you have a brother or sister at home, I suggest that you write your names on the backs of your papers because there's nothing more frustrating than be like, I don't know whose paper is who. So you can either use a paintbrush for this. I suggest a nice big paintbrush or like I have a brayer, which is like a paint roller. And that's what I'm going to use today. It'll go a little faster so you can see the process of mixing color, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna flip my camera down. There we go. Okay, so what I have here is I have I'm gonna start with my two primary colors. I have yellow, as I said, I'm using the brayer, and I'm gonna start with blue. So what colors do yellow and blue make? Any guesses? We're gonna find out. Oh, I got a little red on there. I'll just flip it over. Remember, if you have a sibling, please put your names on the back of your paper. Also, I suggest a table covering because this does tend to make a bit of a mess. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna start by using our yellow. And I tilted the paper so you can see it better. You don't have to paint sideways like this. You can do whatever works best for you. Okay, so I have yellow primary color and then I'm gonna add blue. What color does this make? Oh, let's find out. It makes green, that's so exciting. All right, so this is my first secondary color that I have here. So remember on the color wheel, when we mixed yellow and blue, we got green. Let's try another color. I'm gonna set this one to the side. And go to our second paper. And I might start with yellow this time and do red. So yellow is a primary color. I need a little more paint. I'm not quite getting enough on my brayer. You can always add more paint if you need. Sometimes it does get caught a little bit and that's okay. So I have my yellow primary color. I'm going to add my red. What color is that gonna make? Any guesses? Let's find out. Oops, it's getting stuck. What color am I making? If you said, oops, if you said orange, you're absolutely right. We are making orange right now. And I'm okay if some of my yellow shows through or there's areas with darker color. Cause just like in Natasha's picture, some areas had more of one color than another. But we wanna make sure that we're not just doing the center of our piece, we're doing the whole area. We don't want white edges. We want it to look really well all together. So make sure you're not just painting in the middle. Okay, so we have made, we used, yellow and blue to make green and we've used yellow and red to make orange what's our last secondary color to make hmm so oh you're right purple what two colors make purple if you said blue and red you're actually very correct so we're gonna pull out our blue and our red now you can always do more than three pictures because if you make a mistake, you're not gonna have an extra. But if you make an extra picture, then you will have an extra one that you can play with. Or if you make a mistake, you'll have it. So I'm gonna start with my, I'm gonna get a little more red. And I can kind of spread it out if it's in a big clump. As I said, you can totally paint with a brush with this. I had someone use a sponge brush. That worked pretty well for them. Um, you will use quite a bit of paint, but the, remember this is going to last us the whole month. The whole four weeks. This is the backgrounds. So we're gonna be painting on top of these. So I have my red. Now to my lovely blue. What color is this gonna make? Oh, that's right, purple. Ooh, isn't that pretty? You 
you can always add more paint if you need to. So that's lovely. You mix it more if you want to or leave it clumpy as long as the whole thing is covered and you can see the colors. All right, guys, so that is our Natasha Westcote color wheel. Let me grab our color wheel. Remember, we made all those colors just using the three primary colors, our yellow, red, and blue. I hope you enjoy this video. Week one of Natasha Wesco, one of my favorite artists. And I look forward to seeing you for our class, the next class. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Miss Crystal signing off.